Hello guys and welcome to today's FIFA 22 Starter Squad Builder. So let's get into this. So in goal, we do go over to La Liga, Spain, Gold Rare, and we do go for Ata. Now this guy does have a solid card, and I know he's 83 rated, but I don't think he's had any informs this year. So I think he probably will get downgraded to like 82 or 81, which will make him more affordable and cheaper. Um, yeah, this guy's got a great card, great diving reflexes, good positioning for a starter goalie. Could have better handling, but still um, all-round really good goalie. And yeah, we'll, hopefully we'll be cheap when the game comes out. At right back, we do go for a yet um, a not yet transferred player and we do go for Denzel Dumfries now this guy has been signed by Inter Milan uh, as I said not yet transferred but considering the uh, Euros this guy's had he would definitely get an upgrade to about 81 rated 6 foot 2 um, high high work rates absolutely perfect um, I've had this guy's is it like a screen card or whatever they call it and yeah, absolutely love this guy's card. Great physical as well with the 90 jumping, stamina, strength and aggression. And yeah, we'll get an upgrade to about 81, have about 83 pace, about 78 defending. And yeah, just an all-round great card to use at the beginning of the game. Might be a bit expensive considering that there aren't that many great right-backs in the Serie A. But it would definitely be worth all the coins you're paying. At right centre-back, we do go to... The Serie A, we do go for a Gold Rare, we do go for De Vry. Now, yet again, this guy I don't think has had any um, informs or team of seasons this year. So I should get a downgrade to maybe 83, um, which yet again will make him more affordable. And considering he isn't the fastest of centre-backs, he will probably will be cheap at the beginning of the game anyway, since everyone's rushing to get their Koulibaly's or Manolas's. Uh, six foot two, medium high work rates, perfect. As I said, since he'll be eighty three rated, he might have the same pace, sixty eight, but you probably will have about eighty five, eighty four defending, and about seventy six, maybe seventy four physical. Um, yeah, as I said, could be a bit faster, but with the shadow, he should be good. Um, has quality defending, especially with the defensive awareness, stand tackle, all round great, good reactions and composure. Could have a bit better physical, but he is six foot two, so seventy six jumping is still pretty good on him. Um, so yeah, definitely suggest using him and has power header trait. So on the corners he will be scoring. At left centre back, we do go to Portugal, and we do go for a, a usual starter centre back, and we do go for Ruben Vazo. Now this guy, as I've said before in previous videos, has got a great centre back card. Six foot, to be fair, could be a bit taller. Medium, medium work rates, average really. Um, 76 pace, which is actually quite fast for the beginning of the game. 79 defending, which is actually like, good for a start of centre-back. And 76 physical with the 82 jumping and 77 strength. He might get an upgrade to 78 or might just stay the same. Um, but yeah, definitely won't cost more than maybe like a, two, a K to 2K at the beginning of the game. Yeah, great start to centre back to use. At left back, we do go for Brazil left back. We do go for Renan Lodi. Now here you can go for any La Liga left back. You can even go for that cheap like Jordi Alba, Hector Moreno there if you want. Um, I think he's really good, pacey in anyway. Not that good defensively, but pacey. But yeah, Renan Lodi is definitely the option you should opt towards. Um, Five for eight, good, makes him faster and more agile. High medium work rates, which is that like um, average really for a fullback. They all tend to have that more or less. Four star skills, so you can actually try and skill people up if you're running down the wing. 84 pace, I can see this guy maybe could be an 80 rated, if not just staying the same really. But yeah, 84 pace, um, good passing, like good crossing really for a start of left back. Uh, could have a bit better defending, but as I said before, to whack a shadow on him and he should be good. And for a 5 for 8 left back, he has actually got quite good jumping to be fair. And yeah, a great start to left back. 
Uh, yeah, again, just because he's from Atletico Madrid, he might be a bit expensive at the beginning, but it'll be a great start to left back to to afford and get. Uh, right centre mid, we do go for the ever the CDM that we do pick the most, and we do go for the the rune. I'm actually quite getting bored of picking this guy, but he's just too good and too cheap not to choose. Uh, six foot one, great height, medium high work rate's perfect. Um, it could be a bit faster, as I've said before, but still, like I've used this guy at the beginning of FIFA 21, and he's just really good. Um, good pace. Um, good passing when it comes like the short pass, long pass. Could be a bit more agile, but he is more of like a rock. He has got massively like long legs, so he is great at interceptions, which as you can see, which is his best interception trait. I, I might he might get an upgrade to eighty two since um Atalanta did get like um did make it to the quarter final of the Champions League, I think it was, or might have been Europa League, I'm not completely sure. Um, but yeah, great defensively, great physical when, when it comes to 85 aggression as well. It will always be chasing them balls and yeah, just an all-round great starter card to use. As our central centre mid, we do go back to Spain and we do go for Fabian. Now this guy's got a great all-round card. Um, I'm not sure if he'll get an upgrade or not. Let me just look. I'm not sure if he's got any like informs. Uh, Fabian, probably did he? Here we go, Fabian. Now this guy has got two informs, so to be fair, he might get an upgrade to an eighty-three, which might boost his price up a bit. But still, great all-round card. Six foot two, great height for a midfielder. I love like big midfielders like Fabinho, Darun, like the rest. I'm not really keen on players like Kante. I don't know; they just don't really appeal to my style of play. Um, but yeah, medium, medium work rate is good for a midfielder, always in the middle of the park, never like too far back or never too high up. Left footed, so we have a left footed and right footed midfielder. Four star, four star, perfect as well. So if you want to take any long shots, you can just absolutely shoot them in in any foot really. Um, 63 pace like Darun, could be a bit faster, but does have average shooting for a midfielder really. A uh, good passing when it comes to 84 vision, 81 short pass, 81 long pass. Could have a bit better dribbling when it comes to that balance. So he might get pushed off the ball a bit easier. But just put on like um, like a finisher or like any dribbling thing and chemistry style and it might go up. Could have a bit better defensive awareness to be fair. Um, so you might want to put like a guardian on which does dribbling and defending. Um, but yeah, to be fair, could have a bit better physical as well. Terrible jumping, um, bad strength and bad aggression. But it does have two of the best traits in the game when it comes to finesse shot and outside foot shot trait. But yeah, this got to be a great starter midfielder to use based on his stats. And yeah, definitely suggest using him. At left centre mid, we do go for Morales. Jose Morales. It's got to be a great starter striker to use at the beginning of the game. Um, 5 for 11, high medium work rates, right footed. As you just saw, he does have a couple informs at left mid. So he might get a, a left mid card next year. But even still, play him on 7 chemistry at centre mid and he will just be, he'll be even better since he'll have an upgrade. Um, as, I said, as I said, he does have like 2 informs at left mid so you probably will get an upgrade to about 80 to 81 um five for 11 four star four star high medium work rates absolutely perfect couldn't ask for much better um yeah since he might get an upgrade to about 80 81 he probably will have about 88 pace 89 pace about 80 shooting um good passing really but as i said he probably will be a left mid but probably could have better agility so I probably would say put a engine on him. <coughs> Bless me. Um, yeah, it does actually have quite good attack positioning. So I wouldn't really worry about the shooting. So yeah, just put an engine on him, which does boost the agility and balance, I think. And yeah, you'll be absolutely perfect. It does have 82 curve as well, which will go up with the finesse shot trait. Yet again, like Fabian, does have two of the best traits in the game with the finesse shot trait and outside foot shot trait. 
and also as team player. So like he will be making more runs for your team and all round just be, be a better player. But yeah, definitely a great starter striker to use. And yeah, might be a bit expensive since he probably is one of the better strikers in the Liga. But yeah, again, he's worth all the coins. For the beginning of the game, Like to have one of the best starter strikers is just perfect, really. At right forward, we do go to right mid, Italy, gold rare. I mean, you can go for Lazari if you want, but his shooting is absolutely abysmal. Um, I'd, I opted towards Berardi. Yeah, again, you can go for Politano. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for Berardi, considering he did have quite a good Euros, so his card probably will get an upgrade to about 82 rated. Um, six foot, medium, medium work rates, left footed, four star skill moves, only three star weak foot. No, nah, to be fair, if it was my team, I'm definitely going to go for for Politano to be fair um if you can if you can can, can compare them Politano and um just go right mid Berardi when he comes in yeah if you compare them look four star four star four star three star five one's five foot seven high medium which means he'll be way more agile one six foot with medium medium, so he won't really be making them attacking runs. He'll be staying in the middle of the park. Um, much better pace on Politano. Berardi does have better attack positioning and finishing, but a chemistry star could fix that up. But yeah, okay, fair enough. If it was my team, I would go for Politano. So I'm not going to just BS you here and say, oh, go for Berardi, Politano. Oh, no. But yeah, definitely go for Politano, to be fair. Uh, this guy, I've used him in the previous squad builder. This guy does have a great all round card. Five foot seven, high medium work rates, left foot, but does have four star weak foot, so it's not really that much of a like matter really. Also has five four star skill moves. This guy might get a downgrade to about eighty since I I know he had a foot freeze card, but I think that's about all he's had. Um eighty three pace, which is like average really for a starter card. Um could have a bit better shooting when it comes to the attack positioning and finishing, but still good. Good average passing for a beginner card as well. The part where he really comes into play is the dribbling. 89 agility, 87 balance, 81 reactions, 84 ball control, and then 83 dribbling. All round great dribbling uh, stats there. And does have finesse shot trait. So he will be able to slot them finesse shots in like top left corner, top right corner, wherever you choose to finesse shot it. But yeah, great starter card. Will be cheap as well considering... Like, he's not viewed as one of the best ones, like Lozano or nothing like that. So, yeah, I wouldn't say more than, like, 3, 4K. But, yeah, definitely suggest using him. At left forward, we do go to Spain. And we do go for Delefeu. Now, this guy does have a great starter card. High low work rate, so he'll always be up there in the attacking positions. Um... Right, like right footed, four star, four star. Um, so yeah, 88 pace, quite fast for a beginner card. Uh, so yeah, five foot ten makes him more agile as well. Yeah, as I said, 88 pace. He might get a downgrade to be fair, considering that he's not like had any informs or any like special cards, I don't think. Um, 75 shooting, actually got like average attack positioning and finishing, better than I thought he would have, considering he's only got 75 shooting. Uh, yet again, got the average passing, but his curve is actually really good. Um, and his dribbling is immense when it comes to the 93 agility, so he'll be just absolutely skinning defenders. 83 balance, so he'll be able to hold the ball um, quite well. 84 ball control, 87 dribbling, all round great card. So yeah, as I said, he might get a downgrade to 79, but it'll definitely still be usable. And yeah, definitely suggest using. At striker, we do go to Italy. And we do go for one of the more like familiar starter cards, and we do go for Bellotti. Now, I know this guy hasn't got like the fastest card in the world, but he's always been just a solid starter card. 
5 foot 11, average height really, high high work rate, which is actually quite good in a striker. If you're playing two up front, one might drop back to intercept the ball in midfield. Only three star skill moves, but I'm not bothered since I don't really use that many skills. Five star weak foot, which is absolutely phenomenal on a player, if you ask me. It's the thing I look out uh, for their card. As I said, not the fastest, but just put a hunter on him and he'll be absolutely wild. Uh, mental shooting stats when it comes to 85 attack positioning and 88 finishing on an 80 rated card. That is mental. Could have better dribbling, so you might want to put like an engine on him to be fair. Or if you just want the pace, just go for a hunter. Um, yeah, I definitely think this card will just stay the same rating, probably no upgrades. And yeah, great physical stats when it comes to 83 jumping, 80 strength and 83 aggression. Yeah, power header and outside foot shot trait as well. If you're really going to moan about the pace, you can go for any Serie A striker. But if you're really lacking on coins, um, you can just go for Lasagna, Lasagna, however you want to say it. Or just go for Rebic, up to you. Um, I'll probably opt to go for Rebic, just because he's got the better shooting stats. Um, I mean, I don't know, up to you. But yeah, if you're worrying about Belotti 76 pace, just go for Rebic or Lasagna. Um, I would say Muriel and Ossiman, but they'll probably be quite expensive. But yeah, just go for Rebic or Lasagna. I'll say Rebic. So yeah, this is the squad. In-game, you do play 4 4 2 Play Belotti up front with, obviously, Morales. Um, Fabian on the left and this is the squad so yeah thanks for watching today's video guys um, please subscribe like turn post notifications on thank you for watching and yeah have a good day and peace